some time ago when we were in the UK, uh, we were doing an early morning start going from, I think it was Telford, all the way down to pretty much the south coast. So an early morning start, M6, M5. And when we got just down, just south of West Bromwich, I think it was, um, not a lot of traffic around that time in the morning, but there was a van, a Sprinter van, Mercedes Sprinter van, and um, I was just sort of following. I was just sort of behind, not really noticing uh, what he was doing. But then I did notice that he was staying in lane. He was indicating to come out to overtake slower vehicles. He was anticipating vehicle movement. Um, he was just like, wow, he's driving well. And then I don't know, it's on the back of the van, the little yellow sticker. You've seen these stickers. It was like, how's my driving with a phone number? So Lynn it was her next to me she dialed up um the number and put it onto the sort of the hands-free system and uh got through to a person you know, go through a couple of options and this person said you know how yeah i can help you so well, i'm just gonna be following one of your vehicles there's a code number and a registration number you have to give and she said okay what's he done i said well he's driving really well i've just noticed that he's keeping you know lane discipline proximity discipline he's indicating he's being courteous he's sticking to the speed limit doing a great job I thought I just want to let you guys know. And she said, Is this a prank call or something? I said, No, no, not at all. He's doing really well. I thought you might want to, you know, congratulate him and let him know. Anyway, just put the phone down on me. Anyway, so the thing was that what she was expecting was, I assume, bad news. You know, he's cut me up, he's hit this, he's done that, whatever it was. That's what these stickers are for, I suppose. And most people only phone up when there's bad news to give. But we do that a lot. We do it in work, we do it personally. We do it in business as well. We only give feedback when it's bad news. We very rarely or not often enough give feedback when it's good news or congratulations or well done or gratitude and thanks for things. So it taught me a lesson. It was a bit of fun, but it did teach me a lesson. People are unsuspecting of good news. So if you want to stand out and you're a team leader, you're a manager, you're running your own business or whatever it is, find excuses to give people you know positive feedback just a gratitude or a thank you it stands out from the crowd we are sort of pre-programmed to give feedback i i know somebody when i do workshops and events if somebody says can i give you some feedback about your workshop 99 times out of 100 it's going to be i didn't like the way you said this or i didn't think you stood in the right place or whatever or i think your idea about this is wrong if people want to give me positive feedback they just give it that was great. That was brilliant. All this sort of thing. And we get a mix of both, obviously. But be careful of the negative feedback. Find an excuse to give people positive feedback. And you phone the sticker on the back of a Sprinter van. I dare you. It's good fun. And see what they say. Give some positive feedback as well. So quick tip for the day. It's fabulous over here in Luxembourg. Blue sky, sunshine. Spring has definitely arrived. And it's just before Easter. So have a fabulous weekend. Relax and kick back. And uh, more updates to come. I'll see you real soon. In the meantime, have a great week. And bye for now.